Sagittarius in your astrological chart. All the information that the is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Second Sick. All the blueprints and services I provide in the description box down below next to the butterfly. I'm on the car calls today. The website link and discount codes in the description box down below. And the first portion I will be describing to you what Sagittarius is like. The second portion will be a professional. You might have been seeing 111 a lot. Right. The second portion will be a professional astrological reading for me as a professional astrologer. The third portion will be a professional tarot reading for me as a professional psychic. All right, let's get right into it. So, Sagittarius men and women do not like drama. All right, and Sagittarius men have a tendency to get married once. And once they get divorced or it just doesn't work out, they don't want to get remarried, basically. Um, Sagittarius women have a tendency to get married once and they either get divorced or they outlive their partner and become a widow. And of course, they have the opportunity to decide if they want to get into um, another marriage or not. And what prevents them usually from getting into another commitment, another marriage, is that they have a firm belief system of, ooh, my ears are ringing. Can you just hear that? They have a firm belief system on who it is that they want. Right? Sagittarius women, they will hold on to the idea of who it is that they want and that can um, prevent them from finding new love that can prevent them from being able to have the commitment that they really want, essentially. And that is because Sagittarius represents a belief, okay, belief system. Much like church, Sagittarius is ecclesiastical. So oh, my ears are ringing. I'm hearing frequencies of spirit okay so if you go into one church they will have a religion that's Sagittarius energy right but you may not necessarily believe in what it is that they're preaching there are many churches right many organizations that come together that have a particular belief system and your belief system matters, right? On whether or not you will join that church. And if you're like, oh, you know what? I align with what this with this church is preaching, then you will join it. Then you will want to try to help it expand, right? And evolve. Now, Sagittarius also rules, um, believe it or not, the sex industry. Many Sagittarius's are porn stars, or escorts, or webcam girls, different things of that nature. The second sign is Capricorn, okay? Um, now, Sagittarius's also have this phrase of they will try anything once, okay? Now, um, Sagittarius has such a firm belief system, it can go beyond, my ears are ringing. Sagittarius has a firm belief system, it can go beyond, um, it can go beyond what society approves of or what others would deem acceptable. So, so let me, uh, look at it like this, okay? Say so you're Buddhist, you're Buddhist. Um, your practices, your services, right, may be different than when you go into a Jewish church, right? And you see their practices and their services. It would be completely different. Sagittarius is, their belief system is so beyond what society may even deem acceptable sometimes. Let me give you an example. Sagittarius rules um, <laughs> like group sex. Like when boys, you know, stand around in a circle and they jack off, that's Sagittarius energy. 
um, when we're talking about bestiality, when we're talking about, you know, things that are just unthinkable, unfathomable, that's Sagittarius energy. And it begins to begin, you know, it gets worse as it goes to, you know, the, the zodiac sign that has that sense of polarity, where obviously freedom is necessary with Sagittarius because it rules the husband, it rules Jupiter, um, expansion, abundance, and bigger. Go bigger, go home. But the polarity of that obviously is that some people would not deem that acceptable. You'd have to have a particular belief system. And it would have to take more than one person to be um, okay with that. Do you feel what I'm saying? In order for that to thrive. Right. So if you don't have the particular belief system um, of something that extreme, right, of uh, of the, the porn industry, different things like that, you wouldn't thrive in it right if you didn't believe when you go to the jewish church what they're preaching you wouldn't thrive there right you wouldn't want to help it, it, it expand you just wouldn't thrive because you didn't believe in what they believe in it's that extreme sagittarius energy the belief systems it can be that extreme they like to sagittarius is like to gossip coming from the polarity of gemini Okay, that is um, connected to their brother. I mean, that's basically their brother. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius is, uh, have a tendency to um, gossip. They name names, okay? But it's because it's connected to, to Gemini, the polarity. So it's um, magnified since it's further in the astrological chart. You could probably hear my twin people terror boys in the background. But um, also, Sagittarius is, uh, can be very judgmental. They can be. But they're also, uh, also involved in careers such as being psychics, mediums, um, seers, okay, seeing the future. They like uh, being involved in psychology, philosophy, anything involving church, schools, anything involving schools, anything involving colleges or institutions. Um, they also like to be involved in anything that has a firm belief system. The entertainment industry, whether it's in front of the camera or behind the camera, okay? Religion can be very significant to Sagittarius as well, regardless of what they may be uh, working in. And, you know, I think Sagittarius's relationships, what really stops them is them from thriving in relationships is that they really have this want to be free so I feel like a lot of times they sabotage relationships a lot of times they can sabotage it um, and that can lead to them being single for the rest of their life after they've had one relationship that they decided they just didn't want um, they can just overcomplicate what love is overcomplicate how you're supposed to interact with someone how it's supposed to be how it's supposed to come together because of that one failed connection it's like not everybody's gonna hurt you like that not everybody is on demon time not everybody trying to not everybody got an agenda there are genuinely good honest kind people who look if you are evolving if you're choosing to become a better person and you're raising your vibration, you will attract people who are doing the same things. But Sagittarius just have a tendency to not believe that who they're attracting are good people because they don't think that they themselves have evolved into this amazing person. You know what I mean? Like they're not even deserving of the person that they've attracted. And sometimes it can be they get lost in the fantasy and they romanticize somebody and they don't see the truth of someone 
and then they like blindsided with the reality of who that person is later on as well so it can go either way you know it really depends on if the Sagittarius believes that they're deserving of what it is that they have imagined honestly they can be their own worst enemy because they're overcomplicated it's not that complicated it's not all right so i mean and that's why they have this is just they love freedom they do because it makes them feel like they have a level of control That if you don't believe in what I believe in, I'll just find someone else that believes in what I believe in. Not realizing that everybody will believe in what they believe in. And you have to be willing to forgive yourself for where you aligned yourself right in the matrix in the time lake in the time sink essentially all right so i'm going to be reading your astrological chart all right all right i've also seen a lot of sagittarius so they didn't have children so it's easier for them to just drop everything and go and it's not that they don't necessarily want them. It's just they never feel like they find the right partner to have children with. Okay? I've noticed that. Usually they're very lucky or very abundant. Certain things come easily to them. Rather, it's um, shelter, safety. Okay? They have a tendency to be close to family. They have a tendency to be. Um, yeah. Sagittarius are quite unique. Very relaxed. Very relaxed. Yeah. Alright. Let's read your chart. I'll be reading these two charts. The language of God, which is numbers. Let's get into it. Mm. So there's a karmic lesson that you'll be learning. Okay. And this karmic lesson has been halting you from, if you're a man, it's been halting you from committing, okay? Just in general, like just committing, and this can be in relationship, this can be in religion, this can be in your spirituality, um, your involvement. Um, especially if you're a priest, a bishop, a shaman, or if you own a spiritual business, um, if you're thinking about marriage, some of you could be married. Okay. I see you choosing a lover, Gemini energy. Now, there can also be something here about your career, you and your significant other do the same career. <laughs> Okay, like, okay, if you're a teacher, they're a teacher. If you're a musician, they're a musician. Like, they're a rapper, you're a singer. Or you got to both rappers. Okay, or this can be like, um, if you're in the military, they're also in the military. Okay, like, you guys would be on the same base. Maybe working together very close. I feel like I feel like saying it's very close. Very close. Yeah. 
so they will do something similar as you. Okay. Um, it can even be like for some of you, they could be in the same um, fraternity as sorority. Oh, you guys are ringing. Um, same constitution, institution, foundation, church, service, but you do something similar. You guys own a business together. For some of you, I see. If you don't, um, like if you don't have anybody you're romantically connecting to, you'll be needing someone like who is romantically interested in you, but they do something similar as you and they're interested in you. They're in the same constitution, institution, foundation, church, service, fraternity, or sorority as you. Okay. Same. I'm hearing um for some of you, if this is like the military, like you could be in the Marines, you could be in the Navy, you could be in the Army, um, the Air Force, whatever you may be in. Um, they're also in the same branch as you, okay? On um, like the same base. But do you see that? If you know someone who's deceased, was a man they've been watching over a connection and so if you're married they've been watching over you and your significant other and this connection okay that's why it's so strong no matter what you guys go through if you're single they've been like they've been watching over somebody that that you're interested in or that you've been intimate with and you, it is bringing you guys together. You guys keep being pulled together no matter what. Okay. All right. <sighs> Astro psychic. You're you're going to a psychic. You could be a psychic. Okay. <sighs> I see you having <sighs> there's something you're fighting. I see the Mars. We're Neptune. I see there being a level of conflict, or you even getting annoyed, irritated, maybe frustrated. Um, you're going to be having some difficulty trying to integrate your emotions due to um, a need to surrender. Number four, we're rising into 11. You're mastering allowance. What does that mean? It means that sometimes power is your reaction. Have you ever heard that? Not everything deserves a reaction. Life ain't that, you know, you don't have to take life so serious. You know what I mean? Life is really meant for you to be enjoyed. Life is meant for you to be grateful. You know, you didn't have to be here right now. I didn't have to be here right now, but here we are, getting a chance to live. That's what it's all about. 
And I feel like that's really being highlighted to you. You may be fighting with your um, children. If you're in sports, you could be fighting with your team. If you're in the military, you could be fighting um, your comrades or your fellow soldiers. You're in the police force, the fire department. It's psychological. It's not thought out. This is not thought out. Expertise. Oh, many of you are leaving behind a Capricorn or divorcing a Capricorn, okay? Something about, it, it's, it's the removal. It's the removal. Yeah. That's where your fear lies. Many of you, that's where your fear lies. I see you going through something legal as well. There's also a travel here. This this intense feeling of wanting to travel, right? It's gonna, it's gonna um, intensify. Maybe you're stepping into your role of being a light worker or an earth angel. been obsessed with an illusion based off of what you saw growing up. Growing up, you you imagine love as very destructive, but it was because of what you saw at home, most likely because of um, the father. What mattered is how you saw, um, you know what's interesting? Number four. The women in your family played a big part in this as well. So the relationship that you had to your mother, okay, your um, your biological mother, that plays a big part in your life. And how easy it is for you to surrender what is comfortable in order for you to go after what it is that you desire. It's like it requires energy, it requires action. It requires being guided by your own consciousness, like the hermit. That's what it requires. 
you're doing something you've never done before in your career. So if you're developing an app, I also see that. Okay. Going abroad, some of you are being deployed. You're excited. You see, really excited. A confession. A confession. Something's being revealed. A confession. Okay. You are also now um, only wanting intellectual or like um, deeply meaningful spiritual connections. Connections that have substance. Fine. Also see that some of you guys could be teachers or counselors or you could work in health. You could be a witch. Okay, for some of you guys or a warlock. Okay, for some of you. Some of you may have long limbs as well. Let's look at this chart. It's really in your favor right now for you to think about, okay, what is it that you believe about money? What is it that you believe about love? What is it that you believe about yourself? What do you believe in and why? Why do you believe in that? Why do you believe in that? And look at what you imagine that you want to see in your 3D. Because I feel like this is about bringing the three, I feel like this is about bringing what you're seeing and, and, and what you're believing into the 3D. Which is what, you know, Sagittarius and Pisces are all about. But this will be magnified for you. Many of you will be seeing an astrologer. You may be an astrologer as well. Many of you are also famous or seen in the limelight. If you were single, somebody's coming into your life to sort of be like, like an angel, like your rock to support you. Okay. This will also be a time where travel will be um, established. I see travel plans and setting up hotels, spending money. Something that you really want in your career will be happening as well. It's like a wish come true. Somebody sees you as well. They're older than you. They see you. They're interested in you romantically. It's a masculine energy. They see you. Online. That's a search. You may be a world away from this person and like across the country or another state. It's really far. You may work from home or work in beauty or fashion, money, legality. You could be a teacher, a guide. There's some right there. So if you also work in prisons, institutions, asylums, you've completed a 30 year cycle. So maybe you're going like in your status return as well, I'm saying. Ah. 
the lesson also that is um the karmic lesson will be the pain that comes from the experience of being taken for granted and, and how that made you feel. Being in connections where one person is more emotionally strong than the other person. What is it like to be it to be okay for you to be weak and okay for you to also be strong? Okay for you to be human, not to be perfect, not to be, you know, every day um, you have it all together because that's just not realistic. Truth, right? Authenticity. Loyalty. Reality. This will be seen in public. This is actually quite public. Being brought from the underground. It's very Scorpion. Being seen in a light like it's never been seen before. I also see you getting a car. You could be getting a big car. There's communication about travel. Like I see FaceTiming and like having to, to buy like tickets and set up rooms, stuff like that. Many of you will be traveling somewhere you've never been before or just traveling like in general. Seeing you packing your bags, like luggage, like you having to set up things and stuff like that. It feels like it goes both ways though, because it's like this. What it's saying is flipped like that though, almost like a time, almost like the lantern of the, the hermit, but it's upside down. Yeah. Yeah. You could be seeing somebody or traveling to see someone they're traveling to see you. It goes both ways. Hmm. All right. This is beautiful. All right. Let's get into your tarot reading. Hi, Sagittarius. Check your Jupiter with your Sagittarius and your astrological chart. All the information looking for is in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psychic Sid. All the voodoo books and services I provide are in the description box down below next to the butterfly. And this is for Sagittarius. You do not have to be a Sagittarius to resonate with this reading. You can be any sign you can resonate with this reading. Just check your Jupiter and with your Sagittarius and your astrological chart to see how you may resonate with this reading let's get right into it my twin pitbull to your boys are here <laughs> all right so sagittarius first things first the main thing that i was seeing was that you wanted um deeply spiritual um, intellectual connections and relationships and that romantically there'd be something that there would be a connection that will start off as a friendship and lead into a relationship okay many of you are getting the love of your dreams somebody that um you know if you could imagine what type of lover you would like this is the type of lover that is being delivered to you okay this is a wish come true from the universe. Now, the card that you got was Muff Doom, the Hermit, Virgo Energy, which is interesting because in your astrological reading, I said I'm seeing it like the Hermit. That is insane. Oh my gosh. I love my job. Okay. If you're in a relationship or a commitment, you're spending time away from your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, husband, wife, fiance, you're spending time away from them. Okay. With the hermit, you're really focused on yourself. 
becoming enlightened mentally. About what brings you joy. <laughs> One of the twins just <laughs> knocked my iPad. All right. Um, with the lantern, it's many of you guys be teachers, counselors. Okay. Now, what's interesting is you know that Hermit is okay with being alone. You could be reading. Um, a lot of books, doing a lot of meditation, okay. Becoming very enlightened as well about who you are. Many of you are earth angels, light workers. You're able to now help others based off of what you've experienced. Let's use this deck. Hmm. So you're surrendering a belief system. Because you're seeing something like it's the first time you've ever seen it. You're seeing something like it's the first time you've ever seen it. You know what's funny? Sagittarius represents the husband. You know, it represents a level of commitment. Zeus, right? No. From all of the clients I've had that have been men, the number one thing that they tell me is that they know. They know when Take that as a sign. They know when um, a woman is the right woman for them. They just know. They know before she even knows. I mean, he sees her and he knows. Before he even like knows her name, he knows. At some point when he's connecting to someone that, you know, he really loves romantically, he just knows. Before she even knows. If you're a man, you know. You know. You finally know. You're enlightened. Congratulations, you know. <laughs> Am I, that is insane. Okay, Sagittarius, you are responsible her expansion you're responsible on some level for amplifying whatever sector right that placement is so whatever's in the jupiter for example i'll use myself as an example in my jupiter i have aquarius and in my uranus i have aquarius Okay, in my Pluto, the Sagittarius. So Sagittarius amplifies particular sections of my life. Like it amplifies the way that I connect to groups, um, as an individual, my belief system is usually different than those that may be, um, I may connect to in groups, right? That's in constitutions, institutions, foundations, churches, um, fraternities, sororities. It's always, my belief system is usually different, okay? Or um, my perspective 
on spirituality is very unique, very out of the box, very inclusive. Aquarius energy, but very still technically speaking unique as um, like a star, right? Um, also, I connect uh, my belief system to astrology, to the esoteric, to the occult, my money, right? I, I gain a lot of finances through my belief system, through um, church, through uh, ecclesiastical work spiritual work um my willingness to continuously want to um evolve means that my belief system is continuously changing <laughs> scorpionic energy is constantly changing right for it to be in my pluto but that's also how my money um flows in the way that it does because i'm constantly willing to evolve and look at the darkest parts of myself in order to um gain more abundance essentially there is a lack of belief of time as well for me but this is i know the number 23 what is it i said somebody knows okay you know congratulations sagittarius you know aquarius i know you know this is all about astrology this is also a level of intuitively you could be seeing an astrologer or going like as many of you if you own a spiritual business it is well known worldwide okay it's run very morally ethically online some of you guys could be police officers or in the fire department you could be astrologers Years. You could work online, you could even work in the military, you could work um, with agriculture, mining, nature, okay? Uh, a knowing of one's, what makes you happy, it's like you now know what makes you happy. You know, I heard a phrase that said, you know you've met the right person when it doesn't feel like you're settling. That's when you know you've met the right person. Pluto. Oh, what we just talking about Pluto transformation. Eleven. Some of you could be going through a divorce. I know it's a true. You're also getting what you want because it's what you deserve. Because you're willing to transform. It takes that. I was gonna say. This is very masculine. You get what you want, but it's because you're willing to transform. It's like you get the perfect lover, the perfect job, the perfect home, perfect relationship. What you wanted, you get what you wanted, but it's only because you were willing to choose love. Some of you are hearing from us, you're hearing this from a psychic or um, Pluto is magic. The sun, spirit, hidden energy is part of your fortune, your increase. Yes, I said to increase one's abundance. To increase one's abundance. Let me see something. There was um, a quote that I wrote. Um, let me see. Just looking at my iPad. And I wrote it. It transferred all the documents that I usually put on my phone onto here. Um, it says, um, I wrote this at 3.55 p.m. January 5th, 2022. Yeah, okay. Um, I wrote, if you cannot forgive, then you cannot evolve. That's obvious, right? But if you cannot forgive, you are not evolved. You're comfortable holding on to a time frame or a moment, which is obvious. But you're also comfortable holding on to a vibration that is based on how that time frame or moment felt to you personally. That's not so obvious. This doesn't mean that was its actual intention we build a life based on vibrations we don't want to transmute because it would create chaos to live in true harmony 
and also uh, the verse Isaiah 54 17 yeah also the quote no one absolutely no one can close doors God has opened for me that's the quote that's the mantra you know whenever you are trying to you know find that spark within you it's all about gratitude for your future there is a detachment from chaos due to following your soul the polarity your brother leo following what makes you happy maybe even a talent that you have ever since you were a child you can work in the entertainment industry whether you're in front of the cameras behind the cameras some of you are executive producers that is very specific so <laughs> that was really specific some of you guys <laughs> Woo, I just saw like your name, but it said executive producer, then it said your name underneath it. And like, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, so you guys can be music producers. They on the producers part. Some of you guys do work in the entertainment industry. Many of you do. You can work with children. I see some of you work with the esoteric and the occult. You can even be a teacher or a counselor. You can work with psychology, philosophy. There's also something that it took um, a very long time for you to learn how to heal within yourself. There's independence coming in for you. Also, um, someone you've known since you were a teenager, Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio, you've known this person ever since you were a teenager. You could also have a son you know someone since you were a teenager, though. Okay. They know what makes you happy. They know what makes you smile. Or you know how to do this. Somebody knows how to do this. It's a masculine energy. So if you're a man and you're watching these, you know how to make somebody smile. You know what makes them you know, upset or what makes me sad. And you only want to bring joy because it's Leo energy, the sun. Mm. Someone's guided by the star. You see the lantern, but in the lantern is the star. This is also um, evolvement away from the Peter Pan syndrome, which actually comes from Gemini. The group. There's also a separation of group mentality, right? Um, a sense of uniqueness and authenticity coming. You know when someone you know when someone's lying. You know when someone's lying. You know. You know when someone's lying. I see travel. Travel. You're planning some kind of travel. A relationship is taking it to the next level as well. Hmm. Yeah. You have an idea that you're going to be bringing into fruition. Many people will be viewing you differently, like never before. Somebody is going to have a boy. Like they're going to have a, a boy child. Let's get into the tarot. I'm going to have a boy child. 
There is, okay. The nine to the 10. Someone finally knows where they're going. They finally know who they want. They finally know what they desire. They finally know the sun is, the sun has come out. The sun is coming. Out. That's a search. The sun is coming. Out. Okay. It's like it's so bright you can't miss it. Oh, we, yeah, the Eight of Cups, Pisces, and Saturn. There has been, um, you're getting help from like a light haired female to walk away from what doesn't serve you. The Eight of Cups is also choosing you. It's choosing you. Doing spiritual work. Many of you are deciding to um, travel. I see you deciding to travel. Um, it going efficiently. It going well. You spending time with someone. This is make. I feel like it's making me blush a little bit. It feels like um, yeah, like spending time with someone. And it's the number eight. I said that. I said that at the beginning. I said it's the number eight. It, it goes back around. So it's like you're traveling to see someone and they're also traveling to see you. It's going both ways. It goes both ways. The six of swords, Aquarius and Mercury. It goes both ways. There's also communication at a distance. Six of swords. The two of wands, yeah. Travel plans, Aries, Scorpio. Collaboration at a distance as well. Finding love online. This person's in another state, another country. Okay. Making themselves obvious. This is not like hidden to you. They will be making themselves obvious online. Making themselves obvious on social media. Making themselves obvious to you. Um, through messages to you as well, communicating this to you. It's very masculine. Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus. Yeah. There's an ending of breadcrumbing. The Ten of Cups, Pisces and Mars. Yeah. The Sun. That is beautiful in the Page of Wands. <sighs> that is gorgeous. So there's a message coming in. He's sending a message. Well, you're sending a message. It's fire. So you're sending some kind of... My ears are ringing. Hearing spirit. All right. Listening to one's ancestors, you can hear them loud and clear. <laughs> the eight of swords. What's the Six of swords. Yeah. You've known this person since you were 18, 18, 19. Okay. 20, 21. Okay. So your future is really looking like One, you're very comfortable. This eight of cups, you're very comfortable. Very balanced. Okay. 
You've been listening to a lot of music, getting a lot of work done. And you've moved on away from a sense of, um, almost like a sense of detachment. You've detached away from the moon and Taurus energy. So like breadcrumbing, imbalanced, okay. Lack of reciprocity. You want something genuine, not kissing ass. You want something real, right? And so the Six of Swords, the Ten of Cups comes in because I said the Eight of Cups always goes what? Right to the Ten of Cups. Here comes a relationship. As you're listening to your ancestors, you're like I'm moving forward. And you know, to get what you want, to get this joy, and to get this happiness. It's like you're inspired not only by your heart, but this, um, this sense of freedom, this sense of belief that came when you were a child, that anything was possible. It wasn't necessarily about the limitations of what society decided was possible or not, or what you've experienced that teach that you know that would teach you what is going to what is you know acceptable, what is going to happen, what is not going to happen. It's about okay, what do you want to happen? If you can see it, it's possible, right? Intuitively knowing that, but knowing your value, knowing that you are capable of something of that magnitude, of transforming, and that the karmic law of you knowing that is you bringing that into fruition, that being seen, being publicly recognized as well. Many of you are famous. Six swords. Traveling, you're going to be traveling overseas. You're going to be um, travel like it's overseas. You see this coming. And I see you making travel plans. It's like your women's intuition knew this. This is gonna be um, a message that makes you very happy. Some of you will be showing your son to the world for the first time. Congratulations, it's a very beautiful child. Okay. Um, this is love at first sight. Someone you may have even known as a teenager. It's very, um, someone who makes you feel like a child. Even you doing um, tasks that bring you joy. I see you like making lists, very excited with the page of wands. Let me see one more <laughs> yes, you get what you want. Nine of Cups. I said, yeah, Nine of Pentacles. Venus and Virgo, Pisces and Jupiter. I said, you're going to get what you want, especially if it's in career, if it's in business. Um, because you choose yourself, because you're brave enough to choose yourself. This is about not being in a rush for a relationship, but somebody knows. Somebody knows that this is like their wish come true because they found love within themselves, the Nine of Cups. They had self-love within them. You also have some type of talent that makes you a lot of money. You could also be going on vacation. This could even be like, yeah, someone is, is gonna want to be seen with you in public, okay? So if this has been something like a relationship that's been seen, that's been private or has been happening behind closed doors, it will be brought to the public on social media. Other people will be seeing this. 
And this is their way of showing you it's masculine energy. So a man will be doing this or whoever is in the masculine energy. It's meant to show that they're serious about this feminine energy. It's the minor arcana kind of the empress. But this is how they're trying to show people that they, you see how there's all these people around, but he's sitting next to her out of all the people. He planned this. He planned this. Oh, he definitely planned this. You know what's interesting about the lion and he's an antelope? It's almost like going after his prey. That's interesting. He plans it and it's successful. It's very successful. Because you decide not to settle for anything less than what you desire, you get a happily ever after. It's the Ten of Cups. Where you know, not all the time are we going to believe in the same things, but it is about being able to come together. To love. That is beautiful. Yeah. All right. So you get what you want. You get what you want. There's something about this person that matches everything that you want in a lover. The sun, this person could live in a hot climate or you're traveling. There's major travel here, but it's very reciprocal. It's like, if you're willing to travel to come see me, I'm willing to travel to come see you. Someone's doing this in public too. I see you posting pictures with somebody as well online. This is fame. Like, it's going to be celebrated by, like, your peers, your family. You'll be the, the happiest you've ever been in a relationship. I mean, this is a beautiful reading. Honestly, it's quite beautiful. Let's look at advice. That's beautiful. Okay. Yeah, the hermit, the coffin. Yeah, so someone's been single for a long time. Yeah, King of Cups. Somebody is in love with their best friend. Goodness gracious. Somebody's in love. Somebody's in love. All right. Hidden energy is 35. Yeah, this is about somebody deciding. Oh, wow. Okay, this is interesting. Yeah, the princess of earth, which is the hermit. This could definitely be like a friend and it leads into a relationship. There's been a lot of like spiritual, intellectual conversation. It's taken time and now it's moving to the next stage. Okay, it's astrological. The, the planets are making this happen. It's in charge of this shift that you're feeling energetically. Um, Nine of Pentacles, the number eight, the coffin, and then you also have the King of Cups, the number four. Someone is in love with their best friend. Okay. All right. Um... Yeah, this will all be happening by the summertime, August 22nd to September 21st will be significant. You know, this is all about the details. This is about being emotionally intelligent. This is also about being critical, analytical, right? Being okay with being alone. That is coming to a period where you've gotten so comfortable with coughing, right? A part of you has died. There's been a wisdom that has been gained through this experience. And somebody is attracted to how independent you've been. 
they're in love with you. There is a Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius, masculine energy that is in love with you. This could also be the father of your children. This can be um, your best friend. Okay. It's a man who's in love with their best friend. Okay. Really wanting to provide structure, comfort. When we think of the King of Cups, you got to think of the sea. You, know, you got to think of when you can't see at the bottom of the sea. You have no idea how deep this man's emotions go or this masculine energy's emotions go for who it is that they love. But this is actually um, somebody showing that emotion with the number four. It's been hidden. And they are expressing it in order to establish a relationship. There's a surrender of independence. The views on relationship and commitment have changed due to experience of... Um, it's almost like when you connect to someone and you're like, I've never connected to someone like you before. Someone who's so free, someone who's so... You make loving you easy. It's an easy love. Like Adele. Adele was talking about how her first relationship, she just woke up one morning and she was like, my ears are ringing. She said she woke up one morning and she was like, you know, it wasn't necessarily that anything was wrong with the relationship. She just said it wasn't working anymore. And, you know, she ended up um, getting a divorce and she worked on herself and she attracted a new relationship. And that relationship, she said, has been the easiest relationship it has ever been because she learned how to love herself when she worked on herself. It made her more attractive. Um, It's like your view on relationships shifted with the view that um, you took on yourself, essentially. It's due to the experience you had. Like Sierra. Sierra was with Future. She had, you know, her child. It didn't work out due to that experience, although it may have been painful. Um, what she really focused on was improving on herself. And what molded from that was she was able to see the beauty through her pain and attracting a much more beautiful relationship that works for her. See, it's about realizing that everything happens for you, not happening to you, but happens for you, you know? Yeah, someone's in love. I don't think you realize that this person's in love with you. It's your best friend. This person, like, I mean, it would be someone who's really comfortable with you. They're like, you know, how are you? Are you okay? You know, what's going on with you? Uh, they are concerned about you. They want to be around you. You're always, it's like plans being made. But there's an end of singlehood in the process this is like a, I feel like saying a romantic getaway. I don't even remember where we were. All right, let's get advice out for you. Six of Wands, Jupiter and Leo. So somebody wants to be seen in public with you. It's a man, like it's a masculine energy. And this is how he's asserting dominance, like because it's the Five of Wands. So that means a lot of people are like fighting over you. Like they you know they're interested in you and this is being publicly seen right many people over over 10 okay at least over 10 or 15 at least over 15 or 16 and he's being shown that he cares about you emotionally you see how he's carrying the water in public so this is like commenting on your page following you on social media sites in public like your instagram and different things like that six of wands um he's taking initiative to do this it's like you were busy just doing your thing and then he comes and he's like expressing emotion to you it's on purpose okay that is also the advice 
um, do something publicly, like show that you, if this is like a love that you kept sort of hidden, it's like not only express it to this woman, right? Or this feminine energy, but also be okay with showing it to the world. You know, if you really love somebody, you'll move mountains. Somebody's like, I'll move mountains, I'll move pots, I'll move. <laughs> That's adorable. Someone has been really consistent. Someone has been really consistent. And that's very attractive. They will be successful. The Eight of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles. Choosing a lover, Gemini energy. Someone's picking one person. FaceTiming, someone's gonna be video chatting and FaceTiming, messages going back and forth. Someone's like, I just wanna hear your voice, I just wanna to talk to you. It's really like sensitive, like someone's switching up how they've been approaching somebody. They're not as defensive anymore. Hmm. Yeah. If they've been stagnant, if they've not been moving, they're not moving. To express themselves, yeah, they're going to send a message to you. I'm not sure what time they'd send this message, but they'll be sending a message to you. So it'll be happening in the next 11 days. Yeah. This person's like, I've been... Um, Maybe they've been busy with other jobs and different things like that. Like they can have multiple jobs. Moving their money with bank. Yeah, that's a yes. Ace of Wands. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. In the next 11 days, someone is saying that you are who they've decided to be their lover. It's a man telling you this. You're getting what you want because it's what you deserve. Justice. Libra energy. Some of you got a divorce. You're letting someone go and you're taking their parental rights. They got away with cheating. Someone got away with cheating. It was a masculine energy who's an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Sagittarius. Your advice, though, is the Six of Wands is to um, show it in public. If you're a man, like, take the initiative in public. You know, take that risk. Um, be bold. That's how you stand out. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, Sun and Virgo, put in the work, but also continue working on yourself. Some of you guys are self-employed. Some of you are in school or you work in the entertainment industry. I see you working out as well. On um, FaceTime, message, communicate a lot. Sagittarius and Mercury, this is also long distance travel. Move, Pisces, Sagittarius energy. If you've been stagnant, not moving, move. Okay. If you've not been communicating, communicate. Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, I see a new job coming towards you in the next eleven days. Very masculine job. Ace of Wands. A boy is being born. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesians. You're picking a lover, Gemini. You're picking one lover. You're going to own a business with this person. Um, seeing money coming in as well. A message coming in. Aquarius, Super Gemini, also Capricorn and Jupiter. You may have multiple jobs. I see you taking money from one place, putting it into the next. And the Ace of Swords, everything I've just said is the truth. Speak your truth as well. You know, you love someone, tell them, you know, the sun. It's a yes. It's a yes, 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 yes. Yeah. It's also karmic justice. The sun. Yeah. This is also loving your job. Do a job that you love. Speak your truth. Take the initiative. All right. This has been your reading, Sagittarius. Woo. 
Oh, my ears are ringing. If you're a man, I'm seeing there's like some type of like honeymoon getaway or something like that. I like there's like a vacation being like a getaway. Um, Plan out the romance, I guess. Like plan out the, the, because <laughs> I see somebody is expressing their love. So plan out how you wish to do this, rather that's with flowers or different things of that nature, or a romantic, and this is a getaway, I guess, like a romantic, I don't know, like dinner or romantic, whatever you're doing, okay? I see romance though. It's major romance. I see, a, I see children being made. A relationship is beginning. Major travel as well. Congratulations. Woo! This is a beautiful reading. All the uh, information looking for in the description box down below. Thank you so much for supporting Psyche Sid. Blue box service that provide in the description box down below. Next to Butterfly. Ashe.